Hi, I'm Melissa Talbert. I'm here with Wilmington City Council Member Laura Pageant. Ms. Pageant is a longtime member of the MPO. She's also worked very actively at the state and national level on transportation issues. She's now chair of the MPO board. Ms. Pageant, what in the world is that? What can you tell us about it and, and why should people care? Well, it's all about transportation in our region. The MPO, of course, includes all of New Hanover County, a great portion of the northern part of Brunswick County, and a little piece across the southern end of Pender County. We are now looking at designating projects and putting points on those projects up to $19 million per year for the next 10 years. And what type of projects are we talking about? Can you give me an example of one? We're working with safe routes to schools, paving sidewalks, creating sidewalks that children can use to bike or walk to school safely. On bigger projects, one of the primary projects will be the extension of military cutoff to I-140. You mentioned that $19 million a year is, is roughly what we get and that that's not a lot of money. Can you put that in some kind of context? Well, if, if we go back and look at one big project that's totally finished, that would be the Martin Luther King project. Uh, the various pieces of that, the last two pieces ran something over $60 million each. Projects of, of any size are going to run somewhere in the hundred of million dollars. How can citizens learn more or be involved? We that sit on the MPO wish that citizens would get more involved. One of the challenges in North Carolina is that it takes about 14 to 16 years for a road to go from an idea or a, a place to be to actually being built. So it's important that citizens pay attention in the early part of the process and make their views known. You can do that by responding when you get notices in the mail about public hearings. You can do that by going online at the WMPO.org website. If people want to attend, they can do that. If they want to go online and respond to surveys, that would be real helpful.